Okay, now I have this Toyota V6 engine that has to get replaced inside its engine compartment. So let's take a look at replacing this engine. But the first thing I want to do is replace this seal, which is a genuine Toyota part. That's the part number. This is the crankshaft rear main seal. So we have a few 14 millimeter bolts. And when you're going to be reinstalling these bolts, you need to make sure you place the Loctite on the threads. Now the best thing for taking these bolts off would be an impact gun. Now we just want to get this shim out of the way. And take that flywheel off. Let me take this off. I have this little container plate. I want to make sure we take a careful inspection of the flywheel. There is no cracks, and all the tubes are in good condition. Here we can see the crankshaft rim and seal is exposed for replacing. Finished with the installation of that seal. That's the brand new seal installed. This is the used one. So we have three piece to replace. So this can only be positioned one way. And you have to rotate it until you can get all bolt holes perfectly aligned then we will have to place the flex plate on we have this piece all of this has to be aligned perfectly Threads of the bolts will have to be clean of those old Loctite solution. And then new one will have to be placed and installed. With my impact gun set at 90 foot pounds of torque, I want to run these bolts in in a crisscross dimension. Ah!
Okay, so what we have here is since that mount bracket was fabricated because it was broken, this mount is inward about one inch and it's not able to align with that factory hole. So we're going to have to drill an additional hole inwards that's behind that hole to accommodate alignment with that stud. Let's take a look at the other side. Here we can see this stud is perfectly aligned with the bolt hole that's required. So I have to take this mount out from the other side and drop this on to the mount, securing it. And then we can make that modification to the other side mount. Okay, now we have a very, very difficult problem because I'm the one who's taking over this job and someone else started it and the reason they're not here is because they knew here is because they knew what they did was incorrect and that is welding of this mount support right here that's the part that attaches to the frame that's welded now we have a motor mount bolted onto that frame support and this bracket with these three bolt holes bolts to the block but this part does not align onto the stud even though we have the other side already aligned and as you can see the chain has been relieved of all its slackness and the engine is sitting on the front differential which is not good so this whole fabrication work right here is going to have to be cut out and repositioned so the engine could be lift or the differential when it's aligned on this bracket with the mount. Here's a look at the right side and you can see by trying to force that mount in, in between you can see the mount is separating. So this side is aligned, you just have to figure out that other side and this is a custom fabrication it's not something that any mechanic could do because this vehicle as you can tell from all the loom and the awful dirt caused it to break that support now we have to take that support out and realign it 
with the engine in its current location. This is the kind of work you're not supposed to do with the engine removed completely. The engine has to be in the bay compartment so you can maintain the alignment. But the fabricator who was doing this didn't really care about that. They just wanted the money to get out of here and never show back up. Put it in another per and put this problem in another person's hand. So this is gonna be very difficult. It's gonna take a long time. Gonna have to drop that differential, take out the rack and pinion, and most likely do this work from under with the engine in position. And we want to make sure that engine is aligned. We want to make sure it's straight. You can see it's leaning towards that side, which is not good. A lot of problems here. This is the end of this part of this video series. We will continue the other part in another video. So you can see tightening that bolt on top. That's the, that will be the center bolt. It's pulling the mount apart. That is not good. Well, this is what you encounter when you try to take over other mechanic work. So this is, if you ever get involved with something like this, you're gonna get tricked into doing this type of work because you're gonna think it's easy. And when you start doing it, this is what you're gonna run into. See you in the next video. What a nightmare. Not all, not all people are meant to be mechanic. Some of them are hacked for the dollar.